Hi, welcome to Flash for the Non-Geek. And in today's lesson, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to put a Flash header into your Blogger account. A lot of people have been asking me about it, so I decided to uh, make a YouTube video. There's also a lesson at my website, nongeekbooks.com. And as you can see, it's a fully functioning header. And it works just like a normal uh, Flash header. Let me close this up. You can also turn the sound off. And if I scroll down here, you can see that it's a brand new account. A couple flash files over here on the right. My little Twitter button. On the left, you'll see my YouTube video and some text. And let me scroll up and I'll show you which template I picked for this exercise. I picked Minima. It's the, uh, I believe it's the first template. So, let's get this tutorial started and I wanted to show you what it looks like when you first go on so the first thing we're going to do um, is go up here to edit HTML click on expand widget templates and if you're working on an, on an existing blogger account you can still do everything I, I'm explaining here but you're going to have to download your full template first because you know you don't want to mess up your your template so let me uh, position this so it looks better on the screen here and what we want to do is we want to go into your HTML we want to look for max widget so what I do in my browser is I type in max widget after I do control F for find and my browser automatically finds it it's right here so max widgets you'll see it equals one and show add element it says no so what you want to do is max widgets you want that to say two show add element you want that to say yes there we go now you can see the save template go ahead and save it okay now we're going to go back to our layout by clicking on layout and you'll see here we have add a gadget so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this add a gadget next we're going to scroll down and click on HTML slash JavaScript and we're now going to copy in some code this code you can get at nongeekbooks.com you can copy and paste it or you can just read it here and just kind of retype it so what I did was I created my flash file and I uploaded it to my server and when I uploaded it to my server I named it flashheader.swf so the actual address here would be nongeekbooks.com slash flashheader.swf and if you don't have a server that you can upload your flash file to uh, go to nongeekbooks.com and if you click on the add flash to blogger page it has a link that will take you to a page that has a lot of free servers where you can upload your flash file and the width these you'll have to change depending on the width and height of your flash file so when you're done go ahead go ahead and hit save okay so that's done and so let's preview it so I'm gonna hit preview and there it is now it's now it's on the web page but what you can't see is that the, the flash file isn't centered so we're gonna have to do that we're also gonna have to do a couple more tweaks so next what we're gonna do is we're going to remove the nav bar get rid of that so go back to edit HTML go back to expand widget templates and it's like two brackets and a little arrow so you're going to be looking for these in your HTML so what I do is I just go control F and have my browser find it for me and here it is so what we want to do is we want to click right before that and we want to copy and paste in some code and this code is available at nongebooks.com 
uh, go to the blogger section. So once you're done here, you can go to preview, and you'll notice that the the nav bar is gone. Also, if you look real close, you can see some uh, border lines. We don't want those, and we also want the background to be black. So we're going to close this. Now we're going to get rid of the border lines, and here's how we do that. Okay, now the code we're looking for, I'm going to paste it in here real quick so you can see it. Pound sign header dash wrapper. So let me get rid of this. I'm going to do a control F search in my browser, and there we go. Now where it says border, we want to change border to zero. And then go down a couple, and you'll see border again. Change that to zero. Now, if we were to preview this again, the lines are now gone. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to save the template. We're going to go up here to fonts and colors, page background color. We're going to select black over here, save changes, and there we go. Now, here's our uh, blog. And you notice it's off center, so we need to center it. So we're going to do that next. So back in the layout mode, we're going to go to Edit HTML. Click on Expand Widget Templates. Now, we're going to scroll down until we see Pound Header. And I'm going to do a search for it on my browser. And there it is, Pound Header Wrapper. Now, the width of my flash file is 991 pixels. So I'm going to change that now. You ought to type in whatever number the width of your flash file is when you do this. And then I scroll down until I see outer wrapper. Actually it might be up here. Yeah, keep scrolling down, scrolling down. And there, oh, there it is, outer wrapper. So now we need to change this to 991 and if you look at the main wrapper this is where the main body goes, the text and everything else and you're going to have to adjust this accordingly you can make this wider or thinner, you're just going to have to play with it so I'm going to hit preview and now my flash file is perfectly centered Okay, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a background image to our blogger page. And we do that by clicking on HTML, click on Expand Widget Templates, and now we're going to be looking for the body tag. So I just do a Control Find on my browser and it takes me right to it. There's the body tag. Click to the right of BG Color, and we're going to be pasting in some code. And you can get this code at uh, nongibooks.com, click on the blogger button. And the part you'll have to tweak is this part right here. On mine, it's nongibooks.com slash blogger underscore background. That's the name of the JPEG I uploaded to my server. So you'll just have to change this depending on the web location of your JPEG. Now, if we preview the website, the background image is now there. So that's it. So if you want to learn how to create your own flash header, just go to nongibooks.com. I got plenty of tutorials, and I even have a book that just came out that will teach you everything that you need to know about Flash. Anyway, thanks for watching, and talk to you soon. Yeah.